Hi you guys! So I wanted to come to you guys with a crawfish mukbang. Oh my gosh! So crawfish is very popular here in New Orleans. And they kind of look like little buggies. Look how cute! Say hi! <laughs> yeah, so I didn't expect to get crawfish today. I was just out shopping, grocery shopping, picking up a few things. And then I smelled this, you know, spicy aroma. And I was like, hey, that's crawfish. So I was like, excuse me, sir, could you pour me a pound of crawfish? And he's like, sure. And so I now have crawfish to eat. I actually asked for one pound, because they go by the pound. And he actually was like, oh, you should just go ahead and get two. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So yeah. Oh, and I'm going to teach you guys how to peel crawfish in case you don't know. Alright, so we got this little crawfish bug looking thing. So you grab it by the body and then you twist the tail like this. And then you peel the sides of it like this. And then you pull it out, and now you get this piece of meat. Mm. It's really good. And what I really like about crawfish is the spice. The spice that they boil it with is really good. Mm. And you gotta suck the head. I mean, do you really know how to eat crawfish if you don't suck the head? No. But I don't really like suck it too hard because they got yellow stuff in there. I don't really know what that is. I don't know if it's like crawfish guts or what. But, yeah. Mm. Okay, maybe I'm over exaggerating because I haven't had crawfish in a long time. I usually have it before Mardi Gras, but I was like, I haven't had it all year, so I might as well get some. And look how big this one was. Mm. So, and they have the big juicy claws. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna put the heads in this bag. Rouse's bag. That way I separate, you know, the clean ones from the ones I already ate. Mm. You know, crawfish kind of remind me of lobster. And I love lobster. I would choose lobster over crawfish any day. Mm. I like when the paws. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that juice? Ooh, that's a juicy call. I love when the paws have like little pieces of meat in them. It's so good. But yeah, lobster is the bomb. I like I really like when lobster is so thick. Like when you swallow it, you can just feel the thickness going down your throat. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can relate, but I think I ate at a restaurant in New Orleans called Drago's. A very popular seafood restaurant here. I feel like it's a bit overrated. I mean it's not better than other places I know, but I tried swallowing that lobster and I almost choked on it because of how freaking it was just thick and tender. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be like that because I hadn't had it in a while. But oh my god, if I could eat lobster every day, I would. Mm. 
Yeah, so, yeah, I went to Starbucks this morning and I ran into this man that I went on a date with. Can you believe it? I was like, I'm so glad I dressed up and did my makeup and put on some heels. <laughs> But he kept on telling me, like, you look like, you're, you look like a businesswoman. And I was like, oh, God. That was not the look I was going for. Hmm. So, yeah. I was, like, looking like a businesswoman. Hmm. It's like, that can't be good. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this one. It's all smushed in like somebody stepped on it. That's no good. <laughs> yeah, and the fun thing about crawfish, like, you know, it takes time to peel it and you gotta sit down. And it's the perfect time to, you know, sit down with your family and your friends and chat and drink and eat crawfish and have a good time. So it takes time to fill these things. Hmm. I know some people call them mud bugs. But they're actually like really cute. They're not ugly like roaches. Look how adorable. You know, when I look at their eyes, they don't look so happy. Well, you know, they're dead. Of course they wouldn't look happy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess this isn't the time to feel bad now that I'm eating it. So today is Monday and I went and got a few errands done. Mm. I was such a juicy call. So you guys, my laptop broke. Can you believe it? Yes, I can believe it because I am a bit clumsy. So I have to bring my laptop to be repaired. Um, they said they were going to call me and give me a quote on the laptop. So, I knew that was a juicy one. I had to suck the head. So yeah, they're gonna call me and see if they can fix my laptop and whatnot. And yeah, I really hope so. Cause my laptop is like, like everything. <laughs> if I don't have a laptop, that's like losing my best friend. How am I going to chat with my friends across the country without a laptop? I can't. There's no way. Ooh, this one's big. I like how my nails are red, too. Perfect for peeling crawfish, right? But yeah, if you guys have not had crawfish before, you gotta taste it. And these are pretty spicy, but I feel like they could be like a little bit more spicy. Just because I love spice. I feel like the hotter the better. Hmm. And speaking of, I went to this Thai restaurant called Suko Thai. And they ask you what flavor of spice do you want from one to five. And I chose four. <clears throat> Can you believe that? Mm. Yeah, I kind of regretted it, but I still ate it because it was so hot. I couldn't stop eating it because it was so good. I just had to like down the water after. <laughs> I'm going to get a five one day. 
Just to say I did. No, I'm probably gonna get like a one so I can actually enjoy the food. <clears throat> Whew. This is getting spicy. Oh, I got something in my hair. It's a piece of gut. I don't know what that is. Let me get a napkin. <laughs> Something you guys should know about crawfish, it is so messy. So like whenever you eat it, you gotta have paper towels on deck. It can be even messier than eating barbecue. So yeah. Little mini lobsters. Look at that mini lobster. Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and this really nice lady gave me a green rose. Here it is right here. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, even the detail with where the feathers, I mean the feathers, what am I talking about? Where the leaves are placed on it, it's so cute. Looks like the rose from Beauty and the Beast or something. But yeah, I love flowers and roses. When she gave me that, I was so happy. I was like, I feel so loved. Thank you so much. And she was drunk, so she was like, yeah. <laughs> getting through this well I am really getting through this <laughs> like you guys are eating with me mm -hmm. yum another big one and these crawfish are from Rouse's I think they make some of the best And for those of you who don't know, Rouse's is a grocery store that is native to New Orleans. I don't think it's anywhere else besides New Orleans. I kind of want to meet the owner. That'd be nice. They're like all over the city in every part. Juicy. Yeah, so for the rest of my day, I think I'm just going to pamper myself. But I do want to go out somewhere too. So I might go. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go. Something about me. I don't plan my life. Like, whatever I feel like doing in that moment, I just get up and go do it. I'll be like, I feel like going to the mall. I feel like getting my nails done. I feel like going on to eat. I feel like going to this event. Oh look, I just ran upon something happening. Let's go in. So random. Man, you guys are pretty good. It's a nice size too. Like when I can see the juice fall off, I know it's gonna be good. Mm. 
Oh my god, I finished it all. Look, you guys. These are all scraps. Except for this one, but it looks not good, so I'm not going to eat that. Looks like somebody stepped on it. Oh, this is the last one.